Welcome to The Anxious Morning, where each weekday morning we take a look at ideas, concepts, and lessons designed to help you understand and overcome your anxiety. For more information, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. After reading yesterday's edition of The Anxious Morning about doing things you love to foster good mental health, you may be thinking that at the moment you don't remember or even know what you love. When in the grips of anxiety and fear, we can easily lose sight of the things that used to bring us pleasure. When we spend all of our time trying to escape from discomfort, we can lose touch with our values and who we really are. This is really common. I was in that exact situation. If this is you, don't get worked up over it. You're not a lost cause and certainly not broken because you feel this way. When we are working through the process of recovery, sometimes we have to just start trying things again, even when we have no idea if we're going to like them or not. That's not glamorous. That's not a process of creating joy or choosing happiness. Sometimes it's just a matter of deciding to try painting or cooking or watching a film that you otherwise would not have watched. Maybe you can try learning a new language online or calling an old friend that you haven't spoken to in some time. Not because these activities will instantly make you happy and shine a heavenly light on your heart. We try different things only because through those experiences do we learn that we can try different things again and still be okay. Sometimes just the act of doing that, even when there's no emotional payoff, is the point. When we're stuck and acting only based on the need to avoid fear, we start to see life as challenging or even dangerous. So ordering takeout from a new restaurant or dusting off the bicycle that you haven't rode in years is just another recovery step, but that may also lead you to rediscover things that you love over time. If you're feeling lost, like you don't know who you are or what you love anymore, just start trying things with no expectations and no judgments. This is the way forward because wringing our hands over feeling lost without then picking up the map and following it really makes no sense. If you're enjoying The Anxious Morning and you'd like to get a copy of the podcast delivered into your email inbox every morning, visit theanxiousmorning.email and subscribe to the newsletter. If you're listening on Apple or iTunes, Take a second and leave a five-star rating. Maybe write a small review. It really helps me out. And finally, if you find my work useful and you'd like to help keep it free of advertising and sponsorships, you can see all the ways to support the work at theanxioustruth.com slash support. Thanks so much.